Hello, this is Mr. UF, and I want to make sure you understand one of the most important election cases in the last couple decades, and its name was Bush v. Gore, and it decided the famous Supreme Court case of 2000. People were really fired up outside of the Supreme Court. Um, if you remember, the election is in early November, and now we're into December. So there's been this month of up-in-the-air recounts happening in Florida. Who's going to be the president? Because whoever won Florida was going to be the next president of the United States. The Supreme Court will end up using the 14th Amendment to decide this case. And uh, the 14th Amendment is probably more famous uh, for being used during civil rights cases, but it becomes very important in this election rights case. Uh, the 14th Amendment, the Equal Protection Clause, states, No state shall deny to any person within its jurisdiction the equal protection of the laws. Now remember that. That's going to be very important. People being treated equally. Because the vote was so close in Florida, there were many different ways of holding recounts. And in class, you probably remember us talking about CHAD, those little paper punches, and the punch card balloting system. Well, let's just say, for example, in this county here, they were allowing pregnant CHADs, and they were allowing swinging CHADs, and hanging CHADs, and clean punches. And all of those were counting as a vote. However, in other counties, they might have had, they might have used different procedures. For example, up in this county, maybe what they used were only clean punches. So now what we have happening is in this county, one standard is being applied, and in the county over here, there is a different standard being applied. That's very important. On December 11th, the Supreme Court heard the case, and only one day later they decided it. That's very unusual. Usually a Supreme Court decision takes months and months, but time was of the essence. So the number one thing that was decided is the current recount that was happening, the one that had pregnant chads being counted in some counties and not in others, was no good, and that was because of the Equal Protection Clause, that people had to be treated equally and their votes pregnant chad and not pregnant chad had to be counted equally from county to county to county across Florida. So the equal protection argument was the first part. The number two part of this case was that there was a very important deadline on December 12th, which is the day the case was announced in Florida. And Florida had a rule that said their electors had to be set by that day. And because they didn't want to mess with this important deadline for the state of Florida. Probably why there should be another recount, there just wasn't time to do one, because a recount would take a lot of time. And so therefore, because they were at the deadline where Florida's electors needed to be set, the case needed to be settled. And the election then, Florida's 27 electoral votes, went to George W. Bush by a margin of 500 and 37 votes in the entire state, one of the closest elections in our history.